Oz Ruiz here at Dignity Health Sports Park, catching up with Ruben Ace Torres. Ruben, tough fight, tougher than expected. It could have gone either way. Eduardo Estela came out with the W this time. Talk to us about what went uh, going, what went down earlier during the fight. Um, it was a close fight. It was a good fight. Uh, everything was just going a little bit. He was pushing. The, I feel like he was pushing the pace a little more. Um, he was being more aggressive, and I think that's what the judges uh, lean towards him whenever they call the fight. But nonetheless, uh, hats off, much respect to Eduardo Estela, and uh, shit. I mean, just keep matching, keep moving forward, and then we can do about it no more. Did you guys know much about Eduardo Estela? First time fighting here in the oh, U.S. Yeah. Um, did, did you and your, your team study his his uh, strategy, his game plan? What was the most difficult thing about Eduardo Estela in the championship round like this? Um, I think more than anything, uh, it's nothing that he was really doing that was really throwing me off. It was kind of just myself not doing enough. Right. Um, I, like my coaches, they were telling me, you know, keep, push the pace on him, make him go back. I knew he was going to be aggressive. He was shorter, smaller, so he had to get his way inside. And uh, that's what he did. He, he kept up the aggressiveness and he, he got the close decision, but nonetheless. Were you were you feeling a little stiff in the early round? Nah, Did it nah. take you a while to uh, actually warm up? No. Uh, no, I actually felt good going in this fight. I had a great camp, um, cut away fine. Everything was everything was going good. It's just, uh, I mean, sometimes you gotta take it on the chin. You gotta right. be more aggressive sometimes and go out there and show them why they don't belong in there with you. You know. What happened during those middle round, the sixth, the seventh round, when it seemed like he was connecting you a little bit more than the earlier round? Um, I, I kind of like I said, the fight was pretty even. It was close. Um, it's just little things as far as uh, going forward and using the ring smarter. I was thinking about boxing more, and he was thinking about landing more shots. So it was nothing ever really uh, hurt me. I never was really hurt. I wasn't tired, nothing like that. I just got to bring up the activity a little more. What happened in the first round with that knockdown? Then? I mean, I guess the refs saw like if the ropes wasn't there, okay. they, they probably thought it would have went down. So. I mean, um, I, got, I recovered quickly, uh, didn't hit the canvas anything after that. So, um, like I said, just a little bit more on the aggressiveness and uh, coming forward. Uh, so just a little curve in the in uh, Ruben Torres' career. Man. Just dust it off and I just keep going. Hell yeah, I'm solid bro, everything's good. Um, I think we can do no more, just learn from it and uh, keep moving forward, that's it. All right, so what, uh, what, what's Ruben Torres gonna do in the next few weeks, take a little break, uh, get to 2023 nah, started. I want to watch this fight. I want right. to watch this fight and see what I can get better at. And okay. see, um, it just push, it makes you uh, push forward even more. Um, next year's gonna be a good year, but right now just enjoy it, enjoy the time with the fam, enjoy the holidays. You're talking about your own fight, right? You're not talking about the main event. You're talking about oh, your nah, fight. Right? No, nah. I'm talking about my fight. The, <laughs> there you go. the fights right now, I'm about to enjoy watching them. Right, I'm going right. uh, to be an observer right now. It's good to see you in good spirits, man. Yeah, no, nah, it's all it, good. Like it's I said, by you gotta, one point. You lost it by one point. You got to take it on the chin, man. Right. Like, boxing don't make me, uh, winning, losing don't make me. I'm my own person. So, I mean, much respect to Eduardo Estela. Um, I mean, he was a better man tonight. What can I say? All right, so the two, the two, the uh, the first two judges, it was 1-1. One, one, and then when the last card was red, did you think you were winning by with that one point? Um, I thought I did enough. I thought I was connecting more. Um, but I think that the knockdown is kind of what led them towards uh, towards giving him the decision. But, I mean, hey, it was a close fight. That's boxing for you. So I'm just glad that the fans were able to enjoy it. Yes, Shit, man. I have fun in there. That, that shit went by quick. Eight rounds went by quick. So. Hey, man. Uh, next shit. time around in the gym, you probably show what, what you are actually made of. And yeah, I mean, shit, your, your I hand will be raised. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Thank tuned. you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Ruben A. Torres came out a little short this time, but uh, there's more to come with uh, young men's uh, oh, boxing good, man. I appreciate Thank you, you very much, out. Ruben. Appreciate Thank you. It.